We're here at the Denver Motorsport Park for race number seven. We're of course on the road course layout. Jeff Scott and Peter Savano start on the front row for today's race. You can already see the full qualifying results and no mishaps, although Patrick Mew got a two minute three while everyone else is a two minute two. And here's the race command. All right, well, the fun doesn't start until we ask our drivers a question. Are you ready? Drivers, will you please start your engine? All right, engines fired up, and the field is rolling off. So Nathan Orman is back out in front. As Colby Harris drops out one spot, only three points back. Al Lagasse is up to third. Blazy Vitor is down to fourth, and Jeff Scott, our pole sitter is up to fifth. Biggest mover was what was our winner, Chris Kyle, 11 spots gain. As you can pretty much say that for anyone who wins the race. So pace car is in, getting ready for the green. And the green flag is out. We're underway here at Denver. There goes the 11, David Davison, already taking him three wide for the race lead. The lower line isn't that good. Down in the turn one's a very flat racetrack. You'll see some, yep, they're going to take it to the apron. They're nearly four wide, but they just can't hold the line. Look at the 54 on the top. And he is taking the lead. What a horrible season for Peter Zavano. He has no top tens. Not a single one. And he's the only one. David Davison going for second and he is clear. Kept several points in the 41 in fourth place. Colby Harris in the 62 battling out for fifth. Only three points back. Oh, the 41 way off the track as well as a few others. And one into the tire barriers. It's the 22. Or oh, actually, no, no, he's okay. Jeff Scott in the 56, putting the pressure on. Cecilia in the 27, he started 9th, he's already up to 4th. Big moves by the 27. Coming back onto the oval part of the track. An average finish of 20.83, Peter Savano has. And I think he's going to come around and lead his first laps. Or first lap. Into the chicane to go. Somewhere to the Charlotte Roval where they have the chicane right before the start finish line. See the rest of the field. Looks like everyone made it through. Moving back up. Camera's a little too close, I think. Up to 170 for entering turn for three. So these two fighting for a championship. We know Colby Harris is the second. Jeff Scott is in fifth. Yeah, with not a lot of races, of course. So the points are still pretty close. So someone from 20th, if they win it, and they run good at the Rove at the Charlotte, they could potentially get the championship by just having two good races. Because the season's so short. And not many cars, so you don't lose a lot of points. As opposed to if there was like 40 cars. But we'll only have 26. So it's a BMW, a Dodge, followed by a Chevy. Another BMW, and then a Mercedes. The low in Saturn, the, 40, uh, the 81, currently in 6th place.
Yeah, road courses are kind of tough here in this game. Sadly, it's not like R Factor 2 where it's just unrealistic chaos, but that's what we want, though. That's what we want. Just gotta hope for the best. Hopefully it's not, uh, boring. But sometimes there's nothing much you can do. But I do plan on a third season. Then that's when we can switch games. And try out our factor. So it's a seven tenths of a second lead. Peter has. I wonder how many he would gain if he wins today's race. If he gets max points. 52. 50 for winning the race. One for leading the lap. One leading the most laps. So the gap isn't that big yet. But I suspect that it's going to keep growing. I'm going to avoid pit stops because it causes accidents here. Oh wait, 54, Peter Savon off the racetrack, into the grass, and... Yep, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> jinxed it for him. Jeff Scott now taking the lead as I go through the yeses. Colby Harris will also gain a spot. He'll move up to second. Uh, one little slip up and that was it. But, just the start of the race, we're only two laps in. Look to be another caution free race. Maybe. 22 was the closest we got from someone crashing so far and he's in last. Now look at this, Nathan Norman is in front of him. They're 1 2 at CTMP and now they're 25th 26 here at Denver as Chris Kyle now looking on the inside, looking to get that spot back. Yeah, this is a pretty big lead now. Over a second, I'm assuming. Maybe not. Or maybe so, yeah. 1.1, okay. So it takes about two minutes around there. Two minute one. To get around this racetrack. Cecilia in the 27, gaining five spots at the start of the race, but he, right now he's just hanging around in fourth still. Although he has closed in on Peter as he kind of hiccuped there. 11 now close enough to take that spot away from him. So our leader has the second lead. The 16 has the fastest lap. Then it's Peter. Then it's... Jeff and the 11 way off the racetrack and he loses two spots from that Jim Randolph lost eight spots after having a valve go out and Colby Harris has closed in he's on his back bumper and you know he fades away again or not again Peter looking for a second. Might get him here. Side by side. Still. No one's clear yet. I don't know who has the advantage. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, Colby Harris. Might not want to run side by side into the chicane. Let's see if we can try to outbreak each other. No, everyone keeps it uh, pretty calm. Although those two are going at it. Ten laps to go. Be a huge win for Colby Harris as Nathan Norman is all the way at the back in 25th. The 10 point gap between first and second, remember that, so. Yeah, it's a big, it's going to be a huge win 
or anyone's going to be huge, points wise at least. So if he finishes second and Orman finishes 25th, it won't be that big, won't be huge. But if he does win it, it's going to be real tough. 56 opening the door there. Keeps all four wheels on the pavement at least as Harris has to check up. He almost lost it trying to avoid him. Did not want to hit him at all. Yeah, too early for that still. These guys aren't too far back either. Tim Randolph looking to recover after having mechanical failures, running in sixth. Side by side, here we go again. Peter's gonna try again on the inside. Might have a drive off this time. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe so. Staying with him. Alright, someone has to let someone else go. I don't think it's a good idea. Here they go. Alright, Peter gets out of it. And now he moves back to second. Lonnie was in 81. Gonna look to the outside. Tim Randolph in a 99, the second highest running dodge. Here goes Harris, takes it all the way down to the apron. But we know it's not that good. Just can't find any grip there. Battle for fourth. Not clear yet. Now she is. Here comes these, uh, here comes the rest. The rest are not too far back either. They might be able to pick up a couple of drivers. Race each other. Oh wait, hang on. Cecily with the crossover move, it looks like. He moves back into fourth. And Tim Randolph will move up to fifth. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, there he goes. Now he got him. Or got her. The 11 of David Davison. Made that three wide move at the start, but did not get anything from it. And then had a. Uh, Oh, we drove the corner. Yep. Currently running in 7th. 18th in points, the 11. So far, Jeff Scott's enjoying this. He, I think if he wins today, he'll definitely get the points lead. But it'll be really close. Really, really close. Probably gonna have like 10 contenders, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to calculate and whatnot. Maybe. Yeah, now Scott's starting to pull away a lot. Possibly two seconds. Well, not even close, one and a half. Halfway, this time by. Three-way battle for second. Twenty-seven there. Looks like he got on the brakes a little bit later. Really wants to take third place away. Where is he in points? He is eleventh. He lost six spots. Here he goes, to the inside. Harris gonna drop another spot. Maybe, maybe not. Still side by side here. I think I'll get him through the yeses. And he does. Almost clipped the grass. Yeah, the yeses and the chicane. That's where you never want to go side by side. But they'll be at just a huge disadvantage. Usually for the driver on the outside line. 
has the inside. You have two inside corners and you have one outside corner. Or what? Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying here. Lightning Blade is trying to get back into the top five. Two Mercedes, the 11 and the 25. David Davis and Stephen Oaks. Alright, coming to the halfway point, Jeff Scott leading. When Peter lost control, or he lost, he lost uh, his car. Jeff Scott was able to swoop in and take the spot back, or not to, to take it back, or take, it, take the lead away. So far he has a 2.4 second lead. Yeah, Jeff Scott has to make a huge mistake. Or something. No amount of testing. Just can't figure it out on why they're not so racy on these road courses. Really gotta mess with it to get some action. I said we go balls out and just race up the gauntlet. That. If you could really call it a road course, the glorified super speedway, <laughs> that's what it is. The gauntlet. I don't even remember, is it? Mm, I don't think it's an oval. But everything is banked, high speeds, close finishes. Maybe we should go there instead, what was I thinking? Yeah, it happens. It happens. And we have a, have a one-off race at the gauntlet, because why not? Notice I think it's fallen back a bit, even more. Might have overdrove it. Harrison fourth still, holding back Tim Randolph, and you can see Jeff Scott is just running away with it. Tim Randolph in a 99. Squeaks uh, by, or squeezes by. Now up the fourth. 99 is slowly on the move. Slowly picking off drivers lap after lap. Well, he needs some work to do to close in on that 27. Back on the championship hunt for the top five finish today. Drivers at the back are the same. 22, 2, 29, 9, 23, the bottom five. Almost three seconds back, they are not making any time on him at all. Well, so far it's, it's more action than Sebring. Sebring was a snoozer of a race which is disappointing because Sebring always, well not always, but does deliver and I heard someone in the wall, the 14, uh, uh, uh caution and the yellow flag waves, I got a caution our first yellow of the day A full course yellow. And there goes that three second lead. Oh, man, I think this is last season. Coming to five laps to go, Jeff Scott will take the first yellow flag of the day. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the replay. So the 14 on the outside, which looks to be like a, the carousel. I'm going to call it either a hairpin or carousel or whatever. 
Yeah, I saw a couple of drivers losing it before the 14. He goes way off into that blue grass and yeah, he, he spun. He, yeah, he spun. Yeah, that's a total legit reason for a yellow flag. You know, you, you can't argue about that. All right, uh, so, uh, we'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. Oh, in the eight car, Fodemarotz had a valve go out. Another valve problem. Second straight race, not for driver wise, but the first car to be out for out of the race was due to a valve. All right, here we go. First restart of the race, three to go, and he ticked the green flag. Pace car is coming in. And here we go, we're back on our way. Harris looking inside. Dad on the inside. But can he do it? Don't go on the apron at least. Peter Savon on the 54. Looking to make a pass to a BMW second and third. Here they go into turn three. Here goes the 27. He looks at the inside, but can't get a nose in there. Oh, I think he's got him now, maybe, or unless Peter running on out of the line. No, looks like he got over drove it just a little bit. Still hanging on the second. Side by side. Sicily goes wide, so does the 56 of Jeff Scott. Peter's right there, nearly loses it trying to avoid hitting him. Oh, got a crash again. Oh, we're clear. Oh, we're totally clear. Uh, no reason for a full course caution at all. Jim Randolph has moved up to third place. He's just getting them. Yeah, getting them. Better drive off for the 56. Pulled away. Saw the 54 slip a little bit, just a little bit, and that's all it takes. And he's pulling away again. Just hope for no green white checkered. You know, everything holds up. So far, this is Peter Savano's best race. He led a few. Currently in second. No top tens at all. A horrible average finish. Nine tenths of a second lead. Jeff Scott has over Peter Savano. Pulling away again. Yeah, 56 just has a really fast race car today. He's made a little bit of mistakes, but has not cost him anything. I almost did, but not much. So two Dodgers running in the top five. Two BMWs and Harris is the only Chevy. These two guys are notes to tail it once again. Got Blaze Ubitar, another championship contender, top five in the point standings. In the top ten, Al Legacy on the 11th. He's a uh, top five as well, right? Yeah, he's third. Three spots gained. Just one spot out of the top ten. He can get there. Sixteen's there. It's gonna be a wild championship battle. Or not. Down the oval back straight away. And into the oval three and four. Coming to the white flag.
White flag is out. One more time around for Jeff Scott. You bet it's going to be a big win for him. He'll take the points lead after this. I'm pretty sure. 13 points back. 1.2 seconds lead. You know, these guys are all strung out. Another ride on board for fun. A ride inside. See the fancy dashboard. Coming up to the last few corners. Peter's doing everything he can. I think he's actually closed in just a tiny bit. Won't be enough. Too little, too late. Jeff Scott. A dominating, well, yes, mostly dominating performance. He was able to get up to a, almost a four second lead till the yellow came out. Does not matter. He's gonna take the checkered flag. I'm pretty sure they weren't happy about that uh, bogus yellow. But they're gonna win it here today. Checkered flag is out. Jeff Scott is gonna win it here at Denver. Now we'll take a look at the full race results. So, Jeff Scott is our winner. Peter Savano, Tim Randolph, Josh Cecily, Colby Harris, David Davison, Stephen Oaks, Lightning Blaze, Blazy Batar, and the 16 team, Jojo T. 25 cars finished today's race. Votomarotz was out for a mechanical. And that is all for today. Next up will be at the Charlotte Rover, our season finale. And we'll now take you to victory lane.